they're the guardians of, of, uh, of Christianity. They've been here for, you know, 2,000 years, and they're disappearing. If current trends continue, within 60 years, there will be no Christians living in the Holy Land. The Franciscan Foundation really helps with the upkeep of the Holy Land through sending kids to college, being able to give them degrees and diplomas that help them to invest themselves then in the Holy Land. Before getting this, the, 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 the Holy Land uh, Foundation scholarship, I was thinking about leaving the country and getting a job in Europe. I'm, I'm still here in the country. I'm having a very good job and, having, and financially I'm very good. Thinking about not having this scholarship, I, I don't know how, where I am now. They made my dream come true. It's essential that Christians live in the Holy Land because as far as Christians are concerned, this is the holiest spot on earth. This is where Jesus was born, where he performed his miracles. These are the places that are described in scripture and from the very earliest years in our faith, we hear about these holy places. You know, you heard about Christ, you read about Christ, then you're there. There is just no explaining how that becomes a person you knew. Where he taught, where he suffered, where he died. There's no other pilgrimage site in the world that does that. To read in the Psalms about Israel, about Jerusalem, and as I prayed those Psalms, I thought, hey, I'm right here. It's just such a powerful moment. You know, to know that this is where the heart of our faith is because this is where Jesus was. He came up and down these steps carrying the cross. He was in this room. When we were leaving, it was just like, I felt like I was leaving my home. Jesus chose the Holy Land as the place where he would redeem mankind. Why are not all Christians and Catholics fighting tooth and nail to make this a hallowed, holy, celebrated land.